So when it comes to buying a brand new boat, a bay boat is probably one you would like to consider. Reason why is because there's so much that comes in a small package. Today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be comparing a bay boat to a center console boat with a heavy focus on the bay boat itself. For those of you that are new, my name is Clay. This is Life by the Bow. I wanna say thanks to Undoes It for sponsoring this week's video, but let's go ahead, hop on the boat, and get right into it. So here we are in our 23 bay boat up in the bow, and you'll notice that this bay boat possesses a lot of the same quality that most bay boats possess. As you can see, we have the raised deck up front, we have the cockpit, and then we also have a raised deck in the rear. But let's go ahead, let's start up here in the bow and let's talk about this area, pros and cons, comparing this to a center console boat. But as mentioned, in a bay boat, you're typically going to see a raised casting deck. Now, one thing that's great about this raised casting deck is this is fantastic for inshore fishing. We have more elevation, therefore we have a better line of sight, therefore we can sight cast the fish like redfish, snook, tarpon, whatever it may be. Sometimes we even stand up here while we're mahi fishing. However, it has to be a calm day in order to do that, but that's a great advantage to a raised deck. You have a better line of sight when you're fishing. It's also much easier to make an underhand cast, whereas you don't have the gunnel up to your waist or at your knee where you could potentially hit that rod on the gunnel. Now, another great advantage to a raised casting deck, just like this, is we have more storage, obviously. If this deck were to be flush towards the ground, we wouldn't have all of this storage. But the fact that this is all raised, we have this nice big hatch up front, we have rod lockers right here. And as I mentioned, these are a lot of the qualities that you will see in a bay boat. Now, as great as these features are, there are also some downsides. As soon as I step up here to this deck, I lose my security. Now, what I mean by that is with this raised deck versus a flat deck, in a center console, you'll have gunnels in order to keep you in place and keep you inside of the boat. But as I mentioned, the moment you step up here, if a big wave were to come at you, you basically have no security. You have nothing to hold you into the boat. So if you are an offshore guy, you like being a little risky, you like getting out there in some rougher seas, you know, this is something that you should really consider because if that's something that you enjoy, you may need that extra security versus say all of this extra storage. Another thing I like to mention, this is a great area to lay out. If you're a big sandbar guy, the wife, the kids, whoever can sit up here, have a little picnic, chill out, sunbathe, whatever it may be. But that's basically everything for up front that differentiates a bay boat from a center console. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move down here into the cockpit. Real quick, I wanna to talk to you guys about Undoes It's salt wash. While these boats are made for use in salt water, if you really wanna take that extra step in maintaining your boat surface, I suggest using something like salt wash. Salt wash is going to eliminate buildup of salt, thus it's going to prevent things like corrosion and rust without leaving streaks or spots. In our case, we were using it in tandem with a pressure cleaner it's also great for outboards, outdrives, and anything which you are trying to prevent from pitting or corroding. Now, it's also great for trailers, especially the galvanized parts, which are very prone to rusting. Another great thing, you can use it to flush your engine, but ultimately, why we love endorsing Undoes It's products, we live on the ocean, as mentioned, and Undoes It makes true biodegradable products. So, it's very important that our environment is unharmed. At the same time, we're keeping our boats as clean and maintained as possible. So here we are in the cockpit. Not much really changes. When it comes to a deep V center console and a bay boat, this is a very standard layout. You have the console in the middle right here, and you have a rocket launcher leaning post, which in some cases you can outfit with tackle stations. In this case, we have one that flips forward and this is something that you're going to see in a lot of bay boats and you're going to see this in a lot of center console boats as well but the biggest differentiation here as we mentioned earlier is the raised deck so there is the step down and at this point you're locked inside of the cockpit if you're a bigger guy this may not be something that you like 
The reason why is once you move forward right here, it may feel very claustrophobic being in such a small area. So typically a center console boat, this deck is gonna be flat, so you're gonna be able to walk from bow to stern without having any obstruction. However, we already discussed the pros of having that raised deck, so you guys are aware of that, but the biggest differentiation in the cockpit that I can note as far as where I'm standing right now is our gunnels. Now, this is what really makes a bay boat a bay boat. It's these lower gunnels. Now, there's pros and cons to these lower gunnels as well, in addition to the raised cockpit. We'll start out with the pros. Now, an advantage to having a lower gunnel is you have less boat to clean. When you have less boat to clean, it just makes boating that much easier. Another thing that's great about lower gunnels is if we wanna grab a fish, we can just reach right over the side of the boat, put our hands in the water and grab what we need to grab. Another positive with these lower gunnels is it's very easy to get in and out of the boat while diving. And we do a lot of diving in this boat. We do a lot of fishing where we're reaching over the side. So this is something that we really, really enjoy about a bay boat. Now, something that may not be so desirable and something to consider is these lower gunnels also possess disadvantages. For example, if you were in big seas, there is potential if you get a big enough roller, that roller could come over the side of the boat and you could take on water. Another disadvantage is you lose a little bit of security. Since these gunnels are so low, there's not much really holding you in here since my knees are actually above this gunnel. You lose a little bit of security and you also may run the risk of taking a wave over the side. So here we are in the rear and the same exact things that we described up front carry over here to the rear. Like we mentioned, the step up offers a lot more storage because if this were to be flat to the ground, we wouldn't have the depth. Another thing that I like is we're able to run two live wells here in the rear. We have all this extra space, whereas if this were to go flush up against the stern, we would lose this live well right here per se. However, there are ways to outfit boats where you can do floor wells, leaning post live wells if you do desire a transom that goes flat up against the boat, but that's something that I like about a bay boat specifically. Now, since we're back here, let's talk about the business end, the power. Bay boats are gonna be a little lighter just because they're smaller boats, therefore you're gonna get a little better fuel economy, you may get a little more speed. There's a couple qualities that a bay boat possesses when it comes to performance that may be a little bit better than say a deep V center console. Another thing to consider is draft. A bay boat isn't going to draft as much as a deep V center console. So if you really only desire to stay in shore, hit the sandbar, hit some inshore fishing spots and you don't care to veer offshore, the bay boat is definitely the way to go because you don't have to worry about getting stuck and you can stay nice and shallow. However, there is a downside to a bay boat that drafts shallow. The bottom of the boat's gonna be a lot flatter. You're gonna lose what's called dead rise. And the more dead rise you have, obviously the better the boat is going to ride. So this boat is very flat on the bottom, so it's not going to ride as well as a deep V center console. So one other thing I like to mention, like we were talking about, it's a smaller boat. It's gonna be easier to trailer. It's also going to be easier to maintain. And ultimately, it's just going to be that much easier to run a bay boat versus a center console just because there's less boat to deal with. However, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in to this week's video. Don't forget, Undoes It products down in the video description below. And until next week, see you guys then.